Okay, so I got this sea moss. This um, gold sea moss from Trinidad. I'm just going to do one pack so I can show you the volume. So I add purified water to the sea moss. You add in water because the sea moss is dehydrated and you want it. You want to soak it so it can get rehydrated. Now while it's soaking, what it's doing is letting loose all of the debris and everything else, the sand that's in it. I add lemons to the sea moss because lemons are a natural astringent and a natural cleaner. So it's cleaning the sea moss for me and adding flavor. But sea moss really doesn't have a flavor to it. So you don't have to really worry about the flavor. I like to keep it at a, um, a minimum. So now I wash the sea moss. I'm washing it again. I'm going to strain it. So now I'm putting it in the strainer. I'm making sure that I get everything out of the um, measuring cup, the Pyrex. You want to get all of it because the sea moss is so beneficial. more purified water to the sea moss so I can wash it one more time. Now I'm going to strain it. I don't usually use the water over again because of course the water has sediments in it from the sand and seashells and you know it's just it's a lot is remember it's natural from the sea but you don't want to be you don't want to eat sand so we're gonna clean it I cleaned it one more time beautiful now I'm adding it to my blender now I do a little at a time Adding more water to the sea moss. Now the thing about adding water is it has the moss. The thing about sea moss is it's always going to work. So you can create more volume by adding more water. consistency that I liked it so I added more you can always add more water but be careful with the the sea moss that's the final result I'm going to make sea moss lollipops I like to add these to my tea because also you know as much as you're using I put it in molds and I'm gonna put these in the freezer that way I can just pop it out of the freezer and it lasts longer because sea moss has a shelf life up to six weeks and when it's frozen it lasts longer now you can add different types of flavors to it but I don't because sea moss doesn't have a flavor. And there you go. That's the final. You can add these lollipops to your tea and to anything you like. It has no flavor. There's other recipes. So stay tuned for my recipe on how I use my sea moss. It's a really good thing to have in your kitchen and for your kids when they get sick or take every day. I use it every day. Also, you can add it to anything that you like if you don't drink tea. Please email me if you have any more questions.